Now I gotta ride or die to get a new camera it's uh it's about two hour drive so i'm recording with my buddies uh canon g7x right now so i'm going to get a canon m50 with a special lens on it i forgot what the lens count exactly was but it's like a 200 dollars lens the camera's like 600 new and we're going to be getting it for 450 with uh, a few extra batteries or whatever and sd card so it's a pretty good deal yeah i'll get back to you guys shortly get a little montage of the drive there and i'll let you guys know when i get the new camera Pretty, pretty detailed um, I'm gonna mess with like the color the colors a little bit all right so now it's more color what's going on guys so this is the part of the video where I'm gonna be explaining the best workout split so basically if you don't know what a workout split is it's basically kind of like your weekly schedule of what you're gonna be lifting in the gym like what body part so I'm sure you've heard of like the bro split that's what I did for my first like two two and a half years of training it's really common for beginning lifters that's like where you do chest one day arms one day back shoulders legs all in separate days meaning you're about working every muscle about once a week then there's like push pull leg split which is what I've been doing personally recently the past year which is where you do your push muscles one day like chest shoulders triceps next day uh, back and biceps next day legs and repeating there's upper lower body splits and then there's also some full body splits now a lot of people have come to me asking for like what's the best split what split do you do I'm just gonna get straight to it meaning I think that the push pull leg split is probably the best split for a natural lifter this is because you get a really good amount of volume in each uh, workout session like for each exercise you're getting a good amount of sets for each muscle group you're working but you're also working the muscles twice a week in order to get the most out of like your muscle gains the most out of your time if you really want to be serious about it you need to be in the gym five to six times a week and you need to be working out each muscle group about twice per week now if you're like a bro split guy and you like doing it once so we just doing a lot of volume in that one day that's okay you're still gonna get some gains off of that but if you're here for like the most adequate split and you want to kind of make the most out of your possible muscle gains you should be doing it twice a week the logical point so let's say you're doing a bro split right so we'll go through the progress in a month for like your chest for example so you're only hitting chest really four times giving it an opportunity you're only four times in one month if you're doing a push pull leg split you're still getting a good amount of chest volume in on those push days but you're getting your chest opportunities of twice a week to grow, I meaning you're gonna have eight times that whole month that your chest is repairing itself and growing. Now, when it comes to like, oh, why can't I just work out, you know, chest like four times a week and let's do like low number of sets hitting like maybe upper lower body splits, right? Where you're getting like four times uh, a week of each muscle group. Well, the reason is because you're not doing a lot of volume on those workout days. It's been shown scientifically that it's really good to have 10 to 15 to 20 sets per workout for a muscle to have like optimized muscle growth. I would say that it's best to, as long as you're hitting a certain uh, number of sets per week, but I advise heavily on doing two times per week of working at each muscle group. If you really like the bro split, you can stick with that one, but you have to hit these set numbers. So I'm saying for chest, back, and legs, your bigger body parts, you need to be hitting at least 30 sets per week. Your smaller body parts like biceps, triceps, shoulders, I think you should be hitting about 20 sets per week. So if you're doing a bro split, you're gonna fit all those sets into one day. If you're doing a push pull leg split, you divide it in half for each exercise or for each workout day. So for a push day, you're doing 15 sets of chest, 10 sets of shoulders, 10 sets of triceps, and the next day you're doing that as well. You gotta be careful when you're doing like bro splits that you're not doing so much volume in one day. Cause I know a lot of like problems with the beginning lifters. Also what I used to do, I would get like 30 sets in almost sometimes for like chest days or back days, just cause I loved all the volume of it. And I felt like that was the only way I was gonna grow. But that's not true. Cause if you go past a certain number, like if you're just like really overworking your muscle, you're gonna get to a point where being more catabolic than anabolic, meaning you're tearing on the muscle tissue more than it's able to grow. So you're really doing more harm than good. So you also gotta be careful with your volume. Also when it comes to intensity. So if you're someone who doesn't like being in the gym really long 
and um, you just kind of want to get in and get out, you can do that, but you don't have to bump up your intensity really high, meaning you're doing lots of drop sets, force reps, going past failure because it's going to make you a lot more fatigued quicker, but you're doing more, uh, but you're also tearing up the muscle tissue more in a short amount of time. But again, scientifically, it's been showing that volume is really good for natural lifters. Again, everyone's different. There's people like Mike Metzner and Dorian Yates who are big, high intensity guys, low volume guys. And then there's people like Sergi Olivier, whatever his name is, like a guy with huge arms in the golden area. He was really big on volume, like doing lots of high reps and a lot of sets. So again, find out what works for you. But the baseline, what's mostly accepted by like the, you know, bodybuilding community or whatever and what's you know research has shown that working out each muscle group twice a week has been shown and then hitting those set numbers i said you know 30 for the big ones 20 for the smaller ones give or take you know five sets whatever either way should be good for adequate growth i also advise incorporating some intensity but not too much because if you do too much intensity again you can go to that catabolic stage where you're doing too much harm to the muscle too much harm to your nervous system so i usually on my last set of every exercise i'll do an intensity technique i say this in my last video where i'll do like a few drop sets some part Partials, force reps, stuff like that, so you guys can include that in your routine. But yeah, so basically push pull leg split is probably my favorite. Um, I'm also adding an arm day just last week because I want to bring my arms up a little bit more before my bulk is over. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm going to be releasing an eight week bulking program at 500 subscribers. To enter that, you just got to be subscribed and then send me a DM on Instagram at alex underscore eubank15. This program is going to be a push pull leg split bulking program because that's my favorite split. I worked out for three and a half years. I've been doing a push pull leg split for about a year now, and I like it more. I feel like my transformation from 2018 to 2019 was my best yet. I'm gonna pop a picture up here. I was really kind of chunky in 2018, 2019. I'm, I was my best conditioning by far. I'm probably gonna beat it this spring and summer. But yeah, I really hope you guys like this camera. You know, it was, it was kind of expensive, so I'm more invested into YouTube now. I'm thinking about selling my last one. But I got the road mic for it. I'm about to get a new tripod so I can do some vlogging stuff. So I want to be able to attach personality more to my videos. So I'm going to start doing some more vlogging stuff before I get into the informational parts of it. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or reach me on Instagram. I also started doing some TikTok stuff. It's Alex underscore Eubank. I hope you guys are having a great day. God bless. Please like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys in the next video.